and I'm working on my pronunciation of Baghdad. It's not Baghdad. We need to stop and have a cocktail. Get across the road here. Uh, What's your name? Brendan. Brendan? Brendan. Brendan. Pretty good. It means very good juice. No, it means trash juice. Oh. Our new friends here in Karada. Hello everybody, this is Doug and I'm back once again in Baghdad, Iraq. I'm here in Tahrir Square and I'm back in Iraq this time with a very special guest. If you're a very good fan of the channel and you've seen all my videos, then you might remember him from my Mexico series. Here he is. It's my brother, Brendan. Yalla. Yalla. We made it, baby. Let's go. We made it to Baghdad. And guys, over the next five days, we're going to be exploring Baghdad. We're going to be going to a couple other cities in Iraq. We don't really know yet. We're going with the flow. But today, I'm going to make a video just showing you guys my brother's first impressions of Iraq, first impressions of Baghdad. What do you think so far? It's pretty crazy. I uh, didn't look up anything before I got here, so I'm just going with uh, what this guy has in mind. But we're going to continue on. We're going to go to old Baghdad. We're going to meet, I'm sure, a lot of good people. We're going to eat some good food. It's going to be fun. You know what to say. Yalla. Yalla. All right, guys, so now we're behind the uh, giant uh, monument here. This is the backside uh, in Tahrir Square. And this area is apparently like brand new. It's like a little new park area that's set up. And uh, about a month ago when I was here with my group trip, this place was totally filled at night. It's kind of empty now because it's midday. By the way, I still have space on my fall Iraq trips. So click the link down in the description below if you want to come to Iraq with me and have some of the experiences that you see in these videos. Click it's the going to be awesome. Right here. All right, guys, we're moving on. We're making our way towards uh, old Baghdad. And uh, the Baghdad traffic is already alive and well. We've got a lot really, of horns. I don't really know how to cross uh, these streets as well as my brother, but let's see how I do. Let's see how it goes. You lead the way and then I'll I'll follow you. You gotta just be confident and uh, shukran. There we go, we're weaving through traffic. Just, you do little by little. You don't have to go all at once, like, relax. There you go, well done. Nicely done. Perfect. Nice job. Now come to this side. We're gonna go this way. Okay. You did it. I did it. Good job. In Boston, they'd kill you if you did Yeah, that. that's true. So uh, we're just walking through the market now, guys. They're selling everything you can imagine here. Got a bunch of kitchen knives back there. Got strawberries and mushrooms there. On Fridays, this is an enormous animal market. But it's not Friday today, it is, uh, what is it, Sunday? Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. You can hear everyone advertising what they're selling on loudspeakers, it's on a loop. It's very overwhelming, all the noise mixes together. And we're following the street to the old town, so we'll be there soon. Brendan, it's your first time in Iraq, first time in uh, the Middle East, first time in a Muslim country. Yes, that's right. I uh, don't speak any Arabic besides like hello and thank you. How do you say those? Uh, Salamu alaikum is hello, <laughs> and shukran is thank you, and yalla is let's go. Good job. And I'm working on my pronunciation of Baghdad. <laughs> Baghdad. It's not Baghdad. I learned that. How do you say Iraq? Iraq. Iraq. It's the Ain. It's hard to say the Iraq uh, correctly. Like, I'm not saying it correctly. It's like, uh, Iraq, Iraq. I can tell that speaker is saying it's selling belts, though. Yeah, there you go. Guys, right now we're having Skanjabil. This is a very popular Iraqi drink and uh, it contains soda water, uh, I think some mint, and also vinegar. It's a very unique drink. What do you think? It's not bad. It kind of tastes like Coke with uh, a lot of vinegar in it. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Yes. And uh, yeah, they're just selling it here on the street in the middle of the market. I think it's good. It's kind of like a spicy, sweet, refreshing drink. Brendan just got his first taste of uh, Iraqi hospitality, the famous. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. They won't uh, accept any payment for this soda. Yeah, I just asked him how much. He's like, no. Shismak. Into. The same? Shukran. Welcome to Iraq. It's amazing. It's crazy. We try to insist. They just will not take it. All right, guys, it's midday, so we have stopped off for a nice falafel sandwich. We got some eggplant in there, some salad, some falafel, some fries. 
in the classic Iraqi Samoon bread. What do you think? It's pretty good. I didn't know what was in it. I just kept nodding my head when he pointed to the different ingredients, and it's great. When in doubt, just say yes. Good stuff. So guys, I just tried to pay for the falafel sandwiches we just had, and he absolutely refused. I'm telling you, I don't even like to... I, I don't like to accept it because it's just like, as I've said before on the channel, like, I should pay for it. We, we, we ordered some food and like, that's fair, it's his job, we should pay for it. But they just will not accept it. They say, no, no, you're a guest. No, 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 no. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it was wild. Okay guys, this uh, day is quickly turning into a food tour of the greatest street foods in Baghdad. So we just walked by this juice shop and I said, we need to stop and have a cocktail. A fruit cocktail. This is a mix of all the different fruits that they have here. And they have a really nice presentation here. Take a look at this drink. You got the bananas, the kiwi, the, the strawberry, the little coconut shavings. I think there's some pomegranate in there. And uh, it looks delicious, so let's give it a try. What do you think? The cocktail's great. Great? Is it the best cocktail you've ever had? Maybe not the best I've ever had, but pretty good. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> so good. So refreshing. And there's such good fresh fruits all over Iraq. I really like that. Delicious. Very busy day out here, even though it's a Sunday, not a Friday, which is usually the biggest day. It's still uh, plenty happening out here. Oh, I think this is the copper market. We should go in there. Okay, let's go across. Get across the road here. Okay, and here we are. I'm not sure if this is the copper market or just a copper market, but yeah, they have a lot of copper stuff and, and uh, all sorts of random uh, metal works in here. Assalamu alaikum. All right, guys, we are here now on Al Mutanabi Street. Uh, it's the middle of the day, so it's not too busy yet, but at night, maybe we'll come back here tonight or tomorrow night, it's going to be very busy. We're here now in front of the very, very famous Shabandar Cafe. Let's go inside and check it out. Maybe some of my friends who work there will be there right now. Let's go see. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so here it is. Covered in photos. Lead the way, Brennan. Find us a spot to sit. Grab a seat wherever? Yeah. Let's go, yeah, perfect. So we've got the very special lemon tea. It's extremely fragrant and uh, it has like kind of a nice sour but sweet taste to it because there's plenty of sugar still in the bottom as you guys can see, of course, because this is Iraq. Let's see, do you think it's too hot to drink still? Uh, Give it a try. Wow, it's very sweet. It tastes more like lemonade than uh, tea. <laughs> it's like Minute Maid. I want to try it. Oh, it's I'm so hot. Though. Very sweet, but there's a little tanginess, right? Yeah, a little yeah. sour. It's a unique kind of tea. And uh, I like to get it here at Shabanda. What a nice day in Baghdad. The weather is perfect. Not too hot, not too chilly. Like a month ago I was here, it was very cold. You're getting the perfect Baghdad experience so far. Can't, can't ask for much more. Pretty good. Very good. More coming soon. Stay tuned. Uh, What's your name? Brendan. Brendan? Brendan. Brendan. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Ali, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you very much. Good to see you, Habibi. Mr. Brendan. <laughs> Habibi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. <laughs> Guys, you. come see Ali at Shabanda. Nice to meet you. He's the best. <laughs> Habibi, see you Habibi. next time. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Shukran. Masalama. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Hello. Can I record you? Okay, sure. I'm making Go a for tourist it. in Iraq. Sorry? Tourist in Iraq? Yes. I uh, uh, know you and he is shy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. We want to take a picture. Well, now you're on YouTube. Say uh, hello. Yeah, we know you. We know each other. <laughs> hello. Uh, he know you and he talk, want to talk with you, but he's a little shy. Shakumaku. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Zin. Kula Zin. Good. 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 Very good. That's about all my Arabic. Uh, Halas. That's perfect. Is that enough? Huh? That's enough? All of, my, all of your language? 
in Arabic? Yeah, I'm working on it. Ah, I'm <laughs> yeah. yeah like, thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. <laughs> bye bye. See ya. Goodbye. All right, guys, we've come to another classic place here on Mutanabi Street. I don't even know the name of this shop, but it's another iconic historical place. You can see the walls are lined with photos. And you've probably seen it in some of my other videos. It is a shop that sells Kuba. This is Kuba. It is a ball of ground meat. I don't know if it's lamb or beef or a mix or something. It's very delicious. It's wrapped in this dough and then it's soaked in this kind of salty tomatoey broth. And you can eat it with the Samoon Iraqi bread. It's delicious. Brendan, you're gonna love it. So, I hope so. So you just go in there and kind of break it up with your spoon. Oh, just break it up with your spoon like this. It's like a little piece of ravioli. Yeah. And now you need to let us know what you think. Pretty good. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> then you get some extra soup here. You can soak the bread in it and you get some Iraqi pickles. You should try that. There are various uh, vegetables. Just grab it. And uh, very good. Celery. It's some kind of a cucumber or something. They're very sour. Yeah. I love Kuba. I think it's awesome. When I'm hungry, I could eat like four of these. Mm. Right now, it's just a snack. It's got this chewy texture. And you got the pickles, a little spice, a little sour. Good stuff. All right, guys, and now we're back at uh, another hot spot on the uh, burgeoning tourist trail of Baghdad. Hajj Zabala juice. Do you know what that means? Uh, it means very good juice. No, it means trash juice. Oh. It's kind of a silly little name. Oh, I was off the mark. Yeah. So guys, this is uh, grape juice or raisin juice. So it's kind of grapey, but it's really rich, more like a raisin juice. I thought that sounded weird when I first heard raisin juice, but it is delicious. Very rich, very, very sweet, and uh, it's their specialty. So let's let's go have some. Yalla. Yalla. What do you think? Um, it does taste like raisins. <laughs> very it's fresh. It's almost like a smoothie. It's like bigger mm. than juice. Yeah, there's little bits of like pulp, grape pulp if you will, raisin pulp. And this whole cafe is decorated with photos uh, from the history of Iraq. It's kind of a common theme here in, in old Baghdad to have the photos decorating the walls. But Very cool place. A must stop on every tourist visit to Baghdad. What do you call it again? Hajj Zabala. Hajj Zabala. Hajizabala juice. Nice. Very good. Okay guys, we just went back to the hotel for a little rest. It's a few hours later now and we're out in Karada, which is a central area in Baghdad. It's very lively at night. How are you feeling? It's cool. It's very different than where we were this very different morning. from old Baghdad. Yeah. yeah. So. so now you're seeing a little bit more of the modern, uh, you know, typical daily life of, of uh, normal Baghdadi people. There's lots of people out and about, lots of families, lots of restaurants. And it's time for us to grab some more food. I'm, I'm hungry as yes. soon as I smelled the food. Lots of street uh, food and street vendors out here. So. Yeah. Okay, guys, we just got Lamajin, yeah? Lamajin, sir. It's just me. Laham Ajin. Okay, thank you. So we just got Laham Ajin with some eggs and some meat. And uh, it's very similar to Turkish Lamajun. And now we're here with Sijak. Sijak and Muhammad, our new friends here in Karada. Thank you. Thank you. you guys are from Baghdad? Um, uh, Nasriya. Nasriya. Oh, Nasriya. yeah, of course, Nasriya. And this is way bigger than I expected, so please help us. <laughs> badu, badu. Okay, Brennan, so you just rip some off and, and try it. Yeah. Okay. You can do the honors. Right. Bismillah. Yeah, just rip some off. Right. Here we go. You like Iraqi pizza? Like this? Like, it's good. What do you think? It's really good. Really good? I, it's uh, lahm? It's like lahm bajin with beers. Okay, okay. It's way thinner than pizza. It's like Yeah, it's not it's pizza. Like it's its own thing. <laughs> it's very similar to lama jun in Turkey. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it looks delicious. Like really good. Mm, I love this. Very. <laughs> you know what kind of meat is on it? Lamb. Meat, eggs. <laughs> eggs. Eggs? No, it is eggs. Eggs and lamb. Eggs, yes. Yeah. Why are you in Baghdad? Are you students? Yes, yes. In the uh, University of Baghdad? Learning. I'm uh, uh, work in GOC. Yeah. Uh, 
You work in a company? The car oil company. Huh? The car oil company. Car oil company. Ah, very good. Do you like it? Like it. I'm an engineer. You're an engineer? Huh. Oh, so you finished school. University Halas. Finished. Okay, okay. Very nice. And you? Same? Yes, same. Ah, okay. So are you, you're friends from work? I'm friend. Very nice. Okay. All right, so we're going to do our best to eat all of this. I hope you guys will have some, please. <laughs> and uh, let's see how it goes. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. La la. Khalas. Wahid. Okay. Okay, Fado. Shisme. Ali Abbas. Ali Abbas Hassan. <laughs> okay, last one. Last one. Sa? Careful, careful, careful. Woohoo! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, خلاص. ما سلام ما سلام. Oh, we already did one more. ما <laughs> bye 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 bye. ما سلام. آخر قول علي. Okay, okay, okay. Last one. <laughs> you get it? You need help? Where it went? It go from this side, I think. Yeah. Kick it back here, Hena. Uh, What's this one? Oh, so close. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Oh, off the side. <laughs> okay, ma salama. Habibi, ma salama. <laughs> the game that never ends. Okay, yellow, 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 yellow. Oh, very nice. You almost just knocked his shoes over again. <laughs> now he's second goalie. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Ma <laughs> salama. Huh? Okay, inshallah. <laughs> See you next time. Like, come again or something. Bye bye, buddy. Ma <laughs> salama, shukran. Alright, guys, so we were just walking along and came across those kids and uh, started talking to them, and then they're like, football, football? And so we ended up playing for a little bit on some random street here in Karada. Anyway, now we're going to find some ice cream, and then I think that's gonna be the end of the night because. I'm very tired. I think you're tired too. Oh yeah. And we've got a lot more to cover this week, so stay tuned. But other than that, we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>